Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Cathedral. A very Merry Christmas to you all. And thank you for joining us for our Christmas Day organ recital. These recitals uh, happen pretty much every week of the academic year. You'll see on the reverse of your um, program today the recitals that are there for the rest of this year. These recitals can happen only with the generosity of people like you who come to support these recitals. Uh, and what I'm asking uh, is for your generosity at the midway point of this recital when there will be a collection taken which is for the continuation of these recitals. The organ itself is a different story and I will leave that to Benjamin and George to explain a little bit halfway through this program. But as I welcome my colleagues here, and that is their cue to arrive, uh, we should just uh, welcome them here to the platform. And as you give them a rapturous report, they will show you their socks. So Merry Christmas and welcome to George Fergus and Benjamin Strady. And the socks, please, gentlemen. Very good. Merry Christmas to you all.
collect your money, which I hope you will generously consider giving to us at this moment. Um, first of all, thank you for being here today. Um, I'm simply in awe at the numbers uh, in the crowd today, so a Merry Christmas to everyone. A show of hands, who here is at the National Cathedral for the first time today? Wow, okay. Another show of hands, who, uh, for whom is this their first organ recital? I bet you have never thought you'd be at this. I know. <laughs> You've been dragged here by a beloved family member. So while we uh, pass the plate around, my associate, George. George, are you at the console? He's going to answer me melodically, I hope. There he is. Uh, we have a comedy routine in store for you today as well. Um, so we're going to do a brief organ demonstration, something we do uh, on Mondays and Wednesdays for people. Um, so the organ, in essence, I've figured out the simplest way to explain it. Uh, you all know what a whistle is. If you don't, well, that's another matter. But a whistle, you blow in it, and air hits that sharp edge and makes a shrill sound. And the length of the whistle, the body of it, is what allows that sound to amplify and be heard. Essentially, the organ behind me is a collection of 10,647, give or take, um, whistles, <laughs> all at different lengths, sizes, shapes, wind pressures, that all come together to make a big sound. Some of them are very small, almost like a dog whistle. I fear for the day I can't hear that anymore. Um, and some are very large. George, maybe the 32-foot reeds. Which admittedly is a pretty ugly sound by itself. But of course, um, as you've heard, I think, earlier, uh, the job of those stops is to undergird the full organ, which sounds more like this. spectrum, we have two stops that are on high uh, wind pressure, one which was causing us much consternation um, uh, earlier, but it's gone out for repair. Uh, we owe much gratitude to our organ curator, Bard Wickeser, who I hope is somewhere here today. Um, he keeps this organ in uh, good shape. The tuba is on 25 inches of wind pressure, maybe 27, um, but it sounds like this. has a big sister above the high altar, the far east end, called the trompette en chamad, uh, which basically is supposed to sound like a big fanfare trumpet. It has a few dead notes, but Mr. Fergus is going to show us that stop next. So those are the, those are the big guys in this building. Um, for perspective, this building, uh, you could lay the Washington Monument, which is 425 feet. You could fit it from west to east quite comfortably in this space. The organ has a very big space to fill, and it does a good job of that, especially these high uh, holy days. Now we have, <clears throat> first of all, some of you have been coming for years, and you've been hearing me do some of the same old stuff because I enjoy it so much. But we have two new things this year, uh, one is, which is coming up soon, which is Mark Miller, his toccata on God Rest Ye Jerry, Me God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. And Mark was a teacher uh, and mentor of both George and I at the Yale Institute of Sacred Music, so it's fun for us to be able to play this piece today. And George had the idea of putting together an arrangement of Sleigh Ride, so this is also a debut this year. But for all the sounds on this organ, which are chimes and bells, Maybe you can hear them. So we have lots of effects. What we don't have is that orchestral <laughs> slapstick. So how many of you know Sleigh Ride? Almost everyone. OK, good. So there's that one part. Da -da -da -dun 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 George, they got it. All right. You have to do that for us. We don't have that stop. So at that moment, you all collectively can go and make us very happy. All right, we continue now with the rest of the program. Thank you very much.
That was a lot of fun, George, didn't it? Thank you for that wonderful idea. We have one more number, but before that, just a point of housekeeping. We are so glad you are here today. Um, and we are so grateful for the hospitality and uh, the hard work of many volunteers, both ushers, flower guild, altar guild, vergers, clergy, musicians, etc. Many of us have been here since Friday doing services. Um, so everyone is, we're a little bit tired. Tired, understatement. Uh, so we're so glad you're here, but the cathedral actually does close for the day after this recital. And so George and I will be glad to meet you at the west end, that's that end, not this one. Again, that end, not this one. Um, we'll be glad to meet you back there, but it would really help our ushers and our support staff as well as security if um, we can not spend too much time uh, admiring the beautiful building. But again, we're so glad you're here. We have one more number, which is the Hallelujah Chorus. George, I believe you've pointed out there are a few dead notes in the Shamad this year. Yeah, we have ongoing organ maintenance, and one of the items on our task list is to fix some of the notes up there. If you know the Hallelujah Chorus, you know that it's in D major, which means we use a lot of the note of D and A and E. George, what do you think we should do about that, then? Well, if we played it like it was done in Baroque times when Handel wrote it, it would actually be down a half step. Historical performance, folks. This is historically accurate. <laughs> Wonderful. Anything else? So let's, let's give it a try down in D flat. We'll use a lot of the trumpets. That'll be especially historical. Very historic. And if there are wrong notes, well then. All right, thank you very much.